To see how your students did on CK-12 assignments, you can open up your class within Google Classroom. From there, you can click on grades and you'll be able to see the point values that match the work that they have done for any content that they have submitted to the platform via an assignment. Please note that if you simply share content through Google Classroom, we will not automatically submit a grade on behalf of the students and they would have to upload their replies and you can grade that yourself within Classroom. But for any assignment that was made through the assignment functionality with CK12, you will see these grades auto-populate within your gradebook when students turn in their work. The easiest way to learn more about how the students did on a quiz or practice, especially when related to a 2.0 Flexbook assignment, is to simply open up that assignment. You can access that and see student work here. But I recommend that you go to the instructions if you want more information. Whenever you click on the instructions, it will open up a pop-up window. Here you see the option to preview the assignment, go to insights and more. You can click reports. This opens a new tab with the more detailed class reports for any content that was assigned directly with CK12 to Google Classroom. From here, you'll see that some of our content is simply learning, video, interactive, real world application, and students get a check mark in a CK12 report. For practice, we have a bit more information. If I click on this person's practice, you can see that Lindsay got the goal of 10 correct, so she got 100% on her homework assignment, but her skill level is developing. It took her almost 20 questions to get those 10 correct. Her easy ones are right, some of the medium and some of the hard. And you can even dig deep into the actual questions and answers she has for that particular assignment. This particular student submitted their work is also developing, and this little clock tells you that they submitted that assignment late. So you can double check and see how late that was and when it was turned in. But the same information in terms of questions and pieces. Katie, on the other hand, is proficient. So it only took her about 15 questions to get that 10 correct. And you can dig further down into those particular pieces. Now, if you see a student that has no grade within Google Classroom, and is missing a grade here, but when you click on it, it says needs to turn in. It means that the student has at least started that assignment, but has yet to submit that work for you. You're more than welcome to click the turn in button and you can see what their attempted score is and turn that in for them if you want to do so at that time. For quizzes, you'll see a little bit different information. You might see multiple attempts if that's allowed on a particular quiz. And then you can view the details for any particular attempt as you work your way through, see the questions and answers and pieces, as well as the number correct, time spent, and more information. So quizzes and practice give you more detailed information. The other components give you complete or incomplete credit within a CK-12 class or the matching point value in Google Classroom. For any piece that is part of a 2.0 lesson, you can click on here to open up the class assignment and access the insights for that particular resource. You'll see that it opens up the assignment itself and has the information related to the resources here. You can similarly access insights directly from the assignment link. If you remember, we opened this link from here, got this pop-up, and I can go straight to the insights for this particular assignment. It will open up the assignment and pop open the insights for that class as well. Here you can see that we have four students that have submitted their work. Lindsay is developing, Carl's developing, and this Jumpstart student is developing. But this student engaged significantly with this practice or with this lesson and spent almost 12 and a half minutes on this particular lesson, or exactly 12 and a half minutes on this particular lesson as they work their way through. This student only spent 12 seconds and didn't engage at all. So that might give you a sense of how you can approach suggestions for that student in terms of getting their skill level higher. One student may need additional support. One student may need to simply go back and actually read through the lesson. I can go ahead and see the details for the student, see the time on read, that skill level engagement by clicking on it on that graph or by picking a student's name on the right here. And then you can scroll through and see where they spent their time and how that played out. If I go back to the whole class, I can see here under insights and recommendations, 
This particular one gives me four questions that students struggled with when they were working on this particular assignment. I can open that up and maybe start class with this question and a flashcard that might go with that particular piece. You might see other insights and recommendations, such as prerequisite concepts that might be useful for students to review. Other things like these particular interactives were really helpful for the students that did well, encourage the other students to check them out. But definitely check out your insights and your recommendations, as well as that full class report. As I noted, any content that is assigned with CK12 into Google Classroom will show up in the grades. So if I go back to the summer and I click on grades, you can see these grades here. You are more than welcome to access a class report through the view submission option here, or when you're in a particular piece that has an option where they've submitted it for practice or a quiz, anything that has been graded will have a little sign in link here that will also open up this class report. So feel free to access it, but from the simplest option is directly through that assignment link to pop open the insights or the full class report for more detailed information.